Both the threat of a natural disaster is catching the attention of communities up and down the shoreline. The Racine County Executive, as you know, issued a declaration of emergency last month after severe bluff erosion in the villages of Mount Pleasant in Caledonia. Officials are now asking for federal and state assistance. Jonah Kaplan is live in Ozaukee County with more on this. Jonah. Kyle and George, we're on top of a bluff right here in Port Washington. You see the beautiful view, view behind me. We learned today officials from Ozaki County, they're also going to that meeting tomorrow night in Racine County because they want to learn what's to come, and so do residents. Officially, the Southeastern Wisconsin Regional Planning Commission recognizes 77 miles of shoreline along Lake Michigan. From the Illinois state line to Sheboygan County, the topography is pretty much the same. Oh, we watch our land. We, we do. I mean, we watch our bluff and we, um, you know, we think about it. Ozaki County registers more than 600 waterfront properties, including Donna Nairbos' home in Port Washington. She's lived here for 40 years and has seen plenty of changes. What Mother Nature is going to do to my land or my home is out of my control. Fortunately for Nairbos, her home still sits more than 100 feet back from the bluff. In Racine County, the situation is much more frightening, but hardly the only time this has happened. In 2011, erosion caused an Oak Creek bluff to collapse from under the power plant. A few years later, erosion forced crews to reroute of Sheboygan County Road. Ozaki County's emergency manager says the current crisis is a reminder that Southeast Wisconsin has an expensive choice to make, and soon. My interest for Ozaki County is to gather information uh, that I can bring back and see uh, should we be holding some public information meetings or is it just simply of having stuff on hand to give to our citizens that, that want to know more. Now you heard in that story 600. That's how many waterfront properties there are here in Ozaki County. Not all of them are private. Coming up tonight in the news at 6, why officials say this erosion matters to everyone because it will cost everyone, whether you live on the water or not. We are live here in Ozaki County. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Great views, but they're vulnerable. Thanks, Jonah.